Morning everyone, hope you're all okay. So today's learning objective is to subtract fractions with different denominators. So you remember yesterday we were doing addition of fractions with different denominators. So very, very similar uh, the work that we're doing today. So I'm not going to go through uh, too many examples with you. So subtraction of fractions is very similar to addition. So particularly when we're using the same denominator. So you just need to write down your calculation. So here we've got five, six, take away three, six. So we just look at the numerator, the top number, just as we did in addition yesterday. And we just do five, take away three or five, subtract three. That leaves us with two. And then that's just two, six. If you want, you can simplify this new fraction into its lowest form by dividing. So two to six is equivalent to one third. If you've forgotten how to simplify that, I'm not going to go into that in too much detail today. Um, so if you can, have a go. If not, don't worry. Just leave it as two six. In this example, we can see we've got a rectangle and it's divided into four equal parts. So it's divided into quarters, which is shown with the denominator, the bottom number, which is four. And then we can see we've got three quarters shaded in. We know that by looking at the numerator and then we're going to subtract one quarter. So if you click on the arrow, you'll see that the one quarter is taken away. And then that just leaves us with two quarters, which if we simplify, it leaves us with one half. So in this example, you'll notice uh, a slight difference. So here we've got two thirds, take away or subtract one half. So the problem that we've got here, like we had yesterday with the addition, is that the denominators are not the same. So think about what do we need to do? Good, so hopefully you're thinking that we need to make them equivalent. We need to make them have the same value. So can we remember what we did yesterday, first of all? You might know it just from your knowledge of your times tables. If you don't, you might need to list something down. So have a go. Okay, click on the arrow to see if you're correct. So hopefully you either knew that the lowest common multiple in the two and the three times tables was six, or if not, you listed your multiple. So you would have listed two, four, six, eight, ten. And then the multiples are 3, 3, 6, 9, 12. And you can see that the lowest common multiple is 6 because that appears in the multiples of 2 and it also appears in the multiples of 3. So you need to change your fractions, your denominators into 6. So if you click on your arrow, you can see again that you should now have 4, 6 because that's equivalent to 2 thirds because I would need to multiply the 3 by 2 to give me 6. Therefore, I also need to multiply the 2, the numerator, by 2 to give me 4. And then I'm going to subtract 3, 6. And I've got the 3, 6 by thinking, what do I need to do to the 2 to give me 6? I need to multiply it by 3. So therefore, what do I need to do to the numerator, the top number 1? I need to also multiply that by 3. So then I get 4, 6, subtract 3, 6, and that would leave me with 1, 6. So it's exactly the same as you did yesterday in terms of making the fractions equivalent, but this time you're just subtracting them instead. So now you need to work through the questions on Edmodo. Any problems as usual, you can get in contact. And this week, as you're aware, it's Miss Lister who's looking after the remote learning. So if you've got any questions or any problems, just send her a message via Edmodo and she'll get back to you as soon as she can.